Hello Blender people and welcome to a tutorial of Blenderpedia. In this first tutorial I'm gonna tell you something about uh, a three-dimensional world, something about the program Blender and the interface. Well, let's start to tell something about um, Blender interface. Um, it's a free software program so you can download it for free. Um, here above you got the buttons, if you click on file, you see, yeah, the new file, open file, save file, you can do everything you want, export, um, here you got a toolbar, I'm not gonna explain now what it is exactly, because, uh, I'm gonna tell you something about the real basics, here you got a lot of buttons, if you click here, you see lots of buttons, well, this is the Blender interface. In the middle you see a cube, I'm turning around it. Right here, this is a lamp. Down here is the camera. That's it. It's very easy. Um, but not that easy to learn. Really the basics is very difficult to learn and I hope I can help you and uh, let's get started. Um, let's start to tell you something about uh, a three-dimensional object. What you can see is here is a cube. It's a solid cube and when I'm pressing the Z button make it transparent. Again I'm pressing the tab button and I'm in the edit mode. You can see here edit mode, object mode. It's transparent, solid, I'm in the object mode. but. For now I'm gonna work in edit mode. Those things, the yellow dots, are verticals. I can move them with a simple mouse click, left mouse click, and right mouse click, G button, left mouse click. That's the only thing I'm doing, right mouse click, drag them by G button, left mouse click. and. As you can see, this is pressing the tab and set button. I'm making it solid, and you can see a strange object. It's really strange. It's like art. I don't know what it is. You see, this is 3D. It's pretty cool, huh? But it's not really an object. Um, I'm going to erase it because we're not going to use it right now. I'm pressing the X button, erase, select object, and it's it's gone. Well, now we have a top view. We see the lamp and the camera. I'm making a new mesh plane cube. Cube. And now I'm gonna tell you something about the, the keyboard settings. On the right uh, panel of your keyboard, there's a numpad. And normally you never use it, but for Blender, you use it a lot. Um, when I'm pressing the 7 button, nothing happens. Because when I'm pressing 7, I'm, I've, get a, I've got a top view. When I'm pressing the 2 button, I go down. 8 button, I go up. The 4 button, I'm turning around. 6 button, turning it back around. And 7, I've got a top view. Uh, when I'm pressing the 3 button, uh, we have a side view. Uh, front view, numpad 1. Camera view, 0. So when I press zero, I have a camera view. This is a camera view, you see? All right, go back to the cube. Um, this is the lamp. I can drag them by the G button, pressing it. Um, so you can change the li light and making a nice render. But for now, we just put it here and we are focusing on the cube. Um, I'm erasing it again by pressing X, erase select object, and starting with a new project. Just start, I don't know what I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm pressing the space bar, going to add, mesh, and here I can choose uh, what I want. I can make a, a flat plane, a cube, circle, UV sphere. Ico sphere, cylinder, and a cone. But we're gonna use a plane. 
simple plane, as you can see it's flat. And we go to top view, pressing the S, S is scaling, pressing the tree, and we have a flat plane. You see? Right. And when I'm pressing the tab button, go to edit mode, we see just four verticals. You see the four verticals. Um, right. Let's do something. Uh, we're gonna make a new object, mass cube. And when I go down pressing the two button, we see a cube. Go to the set mode, uh, object mode, I mean. Uh, putting it up, you see a, a blue arrow, a red arrow. We're clicking on the blue arrow and we can only put it upwards or downwards. Not left, not right. When I'm pressing the red arrow, I can put it left and right. It's very easy, right? Well, that's not the right button. You can see a plane and a cube. It's not really a 3D model. Let's make a house, a very simple house. So we need a roof. But I think this, this house is pretty high. So I put it downwards, I'm pressing the tab button, go to edit mode, just selecting the up uh, vertical, so pressing the B button. Again, we have uh, a round dot, pressing left mouse button to select them. I can also, when I'm pressing A, A, and deselect. Um, when I press it one time, I can select them by this. So for now, I'm putting it a bit down by pressing the blue arrow like this. And the next thing I'm gonna do is extrude region by pressing the E button. Well, now I duplicate my verticals. Um, I want them a bit here right there okay um, well let's scale them um, I'm pressing the E button region so I can do it again but now I'm clicking right mouse button pressing S again I can scale it you see I can scale it here because I duplicate the verticals Sorry if I confuse you, but <laughs> it's also my first tutorial, so sorry for that. Next thing I'm gonna do is extrude again. By pressing E button, region, and up here. Next thing I'm gonna scale it, pressing S button, and scale it up here. You see? Alright. Um, well... This is a 3D model, making it solid. I'm pressing Z, tap, go to object mode. And this is, uh, it's not a house actually. It's just a strange 3D object. But this is the real basic of making a three dimensional object. When I'm pressing F12, you see I have a render. And when I go to top view, zooming out, here's a lamp. And I put a lamp right here, or just back the camera here, and pressing 0 again, pressing 12, we see a nice render. And you can try and give it a try to make nice renders. Well, this is the first basics, and have a nice try!